It's been part of downtown Fresno's history for over a century, and now a $27 million project to refurbish the Hotel Fresno is almost done. CBS 47's digital reporter Gabe Salazar caught up with local leaders involved in the project and takes us inside. Yeah, that's right. The historic hotel had a long history of failed ownership and has been vacant since the 80s. Now the hotel is one step closer to being restored to its former glory and will house 79 families as affordable housing. I caught up with council member Miguel Arias and advocates of the historic landmark to see where things stand right now. For more than a century, Hotel Fresno has been a landmark on the city skyline. And in just a few months, it will be reborn as the latest residential development in downtown. The apartments will range from one to three bedroom units from 500 to 1,200 square feet. The ground level will include retail and a common area for community events. The second to the seventh floors will be residential units. Yeah, and a lot of people pass through this construction site wondering what this place will become. So who can live in this building? 79 units in this building will all be affordable. Anybody making under $80,000 as a family or $40,000 as individuals would be eligible to get one of the studios, one, two, and three bedroom apartments in this, in this uh historical building. Chris Rocha was drawn to the hotel's old architecture and began collecting artifacts from the hotel since 2013. That's when he began his journey to save Hotel Fresno with the goal of preserving the hotel's history and feature the artifacts on display once construction is complete. Wow, so how do you come across some of these artifacts? I've found them, lots of them on eBay. I've done some uh, deals in parking lots. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I've, I've found them anywhere and everywhere. Council member Miguel Arias gives us a walkthrough of the progress being made on the $27 million project. Appliances have arrived and they're at the final stages of getting the building electrified. And they're working on getting the final permits for the exterior and interior facades of the building. Former owners who had tried to get the ball rolling on the project, um, you know, who maybe had the vision, but I think there was always some type of issue with funding long term. Throughout its history, Hotel Fresno has been the subject of debate and controversy. In its glory days, the hotel was the destination of presidents and celebrities, including former President Nixon and Gary Cooper. But in the mid-century, the property began to lose its shine and was eclipsed by newer neighbors. After closing as a hotel, it became retirement housing and eventually closed in the 80s, leaving it vulnerable to vandalism and looting. Fast forward to today, and the building is several steps closer to being back open for business. All right, so how are you feeling as they're just working on the finishing touches? Many people thought that we would never get to an actual renovation, so we're, it's starting to feel a lot better. Um, the stress is still there for a lot of construction workers that are trying to meet the deadline. But so far, we're on budget and we're on schedule to finish up this summer and for this historical building to be open to the public. Aria says once this project is complete, it will be the catalyst of another five-story housing building next door that will also include a parking garage to serve both units. Construction will begin right after the hotel opens its doors to tenants. This affordable housing complex is the final step in the city's strategy to transition homeless individuals living on the streets to permanent housing. Under Project Home Key, which is a state-funded effort to renovate old motels and turn them into housing for the homeless, eight motels have already been purchased to act as a second step from living on the streets to eventually living in permanent affordable housing. So far, we've uh, built more than 500 new units for the homeless population that we didn't have a year ago. And we still need another 500 new units that we should be able to get through renovation of old motels that are deteriorated. The hotel is expected to be completed by this summer, building anticipation for making downtown a better place to live, work, and play. Now that apartment complex next door is expected to be mixed income housing and is expected to begin construction sometime next year. Reporting in studio, Gabe Salazar, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Oh, it's wonderful to see it come back to life. Coming up next, Chief Meteorologist Lauren Wallace has a look at your full pinpoint weather forecast.